Greg Samsa. I work for a local nonprofit. I was hoping to speak to you today about getting involved with a program that would better your community and enrich your life. Why do I find myself skeptical? Well, would you allow me a moment to explain? All right. You were saying? Yes. I can understand why you might be a little skeptical, but it's true. Research has shown that people who are more engaged with their local populace lead healthier, fuller lives. Now, the goal of my organization is to strengthen community bonds. We lay the foundation for regular social interaction. Essentially, what we do is find innovative ways to bring people out of their houses and into the neighborhoods. Now, if you don't mind me asking, do you live alone? Have you ever heard of the writer, Franz Kafka? Um, the name sounds kind of familiar. He once wrote, Life's splendor forever lies in wait about each one of us in all its fullness, but veiled from view, deep down, invisible, far off. It is not necessary that you leave your house. Remain at your table and listen. Do not even listen, only wait. The world will present itself to you for its unmasking. Well, that sounds a little self-destructive. It's not. It's merely a way of experiencing life. Do you want to try it? Try it. Being wholly still and alone, unmasking life. Actually, there are a few questions that I was- <laughs> Just humor me. Okay. I see a girl walking on a beachside road. She's going to meet a man at a cafe. He is a cynical man. Despite this, the girl wishes to fall in love with him, but she's running late. When the girl arrives, he's already gone. She decides to take a walk on the beach. There she meets a quiet, aimless boy. She asks him, what are you doing? He says, I'm sitting still and alone. I'm waiting for life's splendor. But... A man can't just sit and wait for life to find him. Maybe you're right. But I am not a man. I am an aimless boy. I do not have an agenda. I have a table. And I do not have a community, I have a mind. Now I need to write. So please, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs>